Sports. Welcome back, everybody, to the San Antonio Spurs. My NBA here in NBA 2K23. We're a couple of weeks away from NBA 2K24, but this series is still going in full swing. As you saw last episode, we weren't able to take the win against the number one seeded Pelicans. So we are the eight seed right now in the play in tournament. We have to take on the Golden State Warriors right now. We took them on just a few weeks ago. We were able to get the win, but it was not an easy win at all they are starting out with the lineup of steph curry jordan pool andrew wiggins jonathan kaminga and isaiah hartenstein we're going to edit our lineup a little bit actually because we have some good news joseph lemire is back and able to play so he the number one former number one overall pick is back in the lineup he's going to be available for us and he's probably going to be back in the starting lineup if i had to guess but as of right now we're going to limit his minutes off the bench we're going to give him a chance to get back in the groove of things i guess i should say because he hasn't played in a while but i do think he definitely deserves to get back on the court as the former number one overall pick and i'm going to take some minutes away from a lot of these people and give them all to joseph amir so he'll be coming in as the backup shooting guard as you can see i'm going to edit our on the fly lineups to allow joseph lemir there you go he's our backup shooting guard there off the bench and Devin Vassell I guess can be our backup point guard off the bench I am so so excited we're gonna go forward with Devin DeAnthony AC as our starting power forward over Jeremy Sokan Jeremy Sokan will continue to come off the bench with Rui Hachimura and all of them as you can see this is where our lineup stands for now we're gonna have EJ Liddell and Nas Reed at the end of the bench as long as as well as Jaden Springer who I have been happy with since we signed him so I fully am prepared to bring him back for next season if he's willing to sign a contract. As you can see, though, we have to take on the Warriors. If we win, we are in. If we lose, we have to take on either the Timberwolves or the Denver Nuggets. So we're going to go ahead and try our best to win this one. It's going to be a tough, tough matchup. But let's head down to the court and see what happens here in Golden State. It didn't take us long to turn this roster around here for the San Antonio Spurs, but today, here in Season 2, we are either going to make the playoffs or go home trying. We have two opportunities, and we need to win one of these next two games here in the playing tournament as the 8th seed, but today, we have to take on the 7th seed at Golden State Warriors. Obviously, they're led by Steph Curry, but... Jordan Poole is also a major contributor as well as most improved player of the year, Jonathan Kamingo. Jordan Poole, though, is going to start the day with it. An easy mid-range shot in the Spurs now down 4 to nothing to start this one early. Anthony Simons working on Jordan Poole. Going to be a nice matchup between two young guards, but Simons drives and slams that one down. A good start for the Spurs. 4-2 to two now as Poole is going to trot it up the court. Jordan's going to drive. He's going to pull up again from the same spot. Same result. Beautiful shot there by Jordan Poole now. A little bit later in the quarter. Steph Curry going to drive. He's going to kick it to Wiggins. Wiggins going to pull up. He hits a 3. 9-2. to two, A 7 point lead early now. J Andrew Wiggins gets his shot blocked. Jonathan Kaminga, excuse me, gets his shot blocked. Goes out to Wiggins off the rebound. Kaminga now working on AC. Kaminga going to fade at the top of the key. He hits it. 14-2 to, to start this one. A bad, bad start by the Spurs now. To Anthony AC is going to get it. Kick it out to Keldon Johnson who goes back to AC. He spins up and under the goal. That is an easy, easy layup there. Just trying to slowly knife your way back into this one. A big steal by Trey Jones. He goes to Simon. Simons is going to kick it to AC and AC's got a slam. A quick four-point swing there for us. And now it's 19-11 to 11 later in the first. About five minutes remains on the clock, Jonathan Kaminga going to pull up. Contested shot is good. A big shot there by Jonathan Kaminga. He has been a very, very vital part of this Warriors offense. Trey Jones trying to run the offense. He gets it at DeAnthony AC, who wants to respond with a three of his own. He's got seven here in the first quarter now. 29 to 18. Patrick Baldwin Jr. is going to get it. He's going to kick it back out to Baldwin. Baldwin's going to sling the three, and that one's good. Big shot there for PB and J, 36 to 18. Joseph Lemire back in the game. He hasn't been played in a couple of weeks. He's going to find an assist to Devin Vassell in the corner very quickly after he steps his foot on the court now. Lemire with the ball. He's on limited playing time, but he's going to go up for his first shot of the day. And he hits the nice little running layup. Expect him to get a bigger role as we continue going forward after this week now. 
Going to go to Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole is going to pull up wide open. He hits the three here to start the second quarter for the Warriors. 42-26. to 26. Andrew Wiggins gets a shot blocked. A good, good possession by Keldon Johnson. Anthony Simons in transition holds the stance and hits the three as Steph goes flying by. Now Wiggins driving. He's getting double teamed. He gives it out to Isaiah Hartenstein. Pass it around the ring. Steph Curry finally gets it in the corner. He hits the three. Now 47 to 29 for the Warriors. They have a chance here to kick it to a 20-point lead if the Spurs don't score. And Wiggins is going to get the steal. Running free. He slams it down on the double pump. Andrew Wiggins gives the Warriors a 20-point lead. Now make it 22, 52 to 30. Wiggins going to drive on Simons. He has been great today so far for the Warriors. Steph Curry in the corner. He lets it fly and hits it. Make it a 26-point ball game now. Patrick Baldwin Jr. passes it into the paint to pool. He gets it back in the corner. PB&J hits the three. 59 to 30 for the Warriors. They have been on a roll. Anthony AC now going to go in the corner to Trey Jones. Jones going to use the pick to get to the paint. Kick it back out to AC who popped and he hits the corner three. He's got 11 on the day. Make it 59 to 35. Rui Hachimura, the sharpshooter. He's going to be left wide open. He could have licked his fingers and checked the win right there. That is the easiest shot. You will see for Rui Hachimura now, 59-38. to Lemire's going to drive, kicks it back out to Hachimura. Another one. He hits it. He always comes in and leads a run. This time it's an 11-0 run for the Warriors or for the Spurs. That's going to be ended by a free throw from Jonathan Kaminga, but it is still just a 19-point ball game now. Joseph Lemire goes to Hachimura again, sagging off of him again as Patrick Baldwin Jr. And Hachimura hits it again, 44-60 to now. Kamingo with the ball. Goes out to Thompson. Thompson, good contest from Branham. But a tough, tough three-point shot there by Clay Thompson. That's going to be a very, very big shot to end that 60 or end that run and make it 63 to 44. Now Malachi Branham going to drive. He's going to kick it around. Go out to Lemire. Lemire's going to pump. He's going to sling it again from three. And that is a five-point start for Joseph Lemire. He hasn't had a big role. Now Devin Vassell at the buzzer. He hits the three. So the Spurs. Come alive here late in that second quarter, and they bring it down 55 to 70 or to 65 now. Now it's 69 to 55 for the Spurs. Now they're driving. Anthony Simons is going to kick it back out to AC. AC at the top of the key. The late contest doesn't get him anywhere. So in the third quarter now, it's just an 11 point lead for the Warriors. Steph Curry. We're being guarded by Trey Jones. Jones has done a decent job on Curry so far. Wiggins, though, fading at the top of the key. He hits it. He has been the Warriors' leading scorer all day long. And Andrew Wiggins continues to play very well. Now 72-58. Jones kicks it out to Simon. Simon's another three. He hits it again. The Spurs shooting outstanding from the three-point line. It is now just an 11-point game. They went were once down by 27 points. And now it is an 11-point game, 72-61. to Kaminga, seven minutes left in the third. It's going to be a play for Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins gets it and spins around, and it's just a busted defensive play there by the Spurs. Left a man wide open. Now Trey Jones is going to drive. He's going to kick it out to Simons. Simons is going to be getting a screen from AC. Simons kicks it back out to AC, looking for another three. He hits another one. 14 for DeAnthony AC as Jonathan Kaminga drives. He's going to kick it to Isaiah Hartenstein who puts it in and one. That is a big, big shot for this Warriors offense. Now 79 to 64. It seems like every shot or punch we give them, they have an answer. But KJ has something else in mind. Another corner three for the Warriors. Both teams shooting well over 50%. Devin Vassell now looking for another three. He hits it. 85-74 85-74 to 74 here, 250 remaining in the third. Andrew Wiggins is going to pull up. He hits it again, and the Warriors, every time we get close, they have a response. Now, final seconds of the third. 30 seconds left. Hachimura going to get a screen from Wimby. It's 92-76. to 76. Hachimura gets another screen. He's going to step back, pull up, and he hits it off the left side. 94-79 to 79 here as we enter the fourth quarter. And this one is going to be a tight, tight contest if we can make it close as Wimby with a nice pump fake up and over Hartenstein. And that is a good, good decision there. 82-94 to 94 now. The Spurs looking to get their offense going. AC getting in the paint. You've got to touch the paint as he drops steps right over Jonathan Kaminga. He has 19 now. 
That is a big, big roll there for the Spurs. Now at 98-86, Keldon Johnson's going to make it 98-89. to A nine-point lead as we have hit five more three-pointers than the Warriors. Steph Curry now trying to get this offense back on track. Curry going to drive on Jones. He's going to step back. He wants to shoot the three. Instead, he gets it to Jordan Poole, who's going to go down to Hartenstein, settling the offense down. Now Poole back to Hartenstein. Hartenstein's going to get into the paint with Wimby, trying to pressure his way through. Hartenstein gives it to Poole, who tops it out to Thompson, and that is a big corner three by the second year player as Steph Curry now 103 to 99 just walks back and he pulls up the three in in coverage with a hand in his face now as Trey Jones he's gonna let the three fly from the corner he can't hit it now right around four and a half minutes remain Poole's gonna drive down the court 106 to 93 Steph Curry corrals the pass he hits the three what a shot by Steph Curry that could be the dagger it seems like we've given him everything we have now trey jones drives he gives it to kj kj with the hand in his face hits the shot that is a tough tough shot to hit now 109 to 98 jonathan kaminga gonna drive he slams it down kaminga throws it down right past Wimby, 111 to 98, Anthony Simons throws it down right back the other way, 111 to 102 now, two and a half minutes remain in this fourth, the Spurs desperately need to make a run, Keldon Johnson driving, he kicks it to Trey Jones, he shoots it from the corner and he hits it, a clutch shot and a 12 to 2 run for the Spurs. Now Steph Curry in this offense needs an answer. Kaminga, miscommunication, Thompson hits the 3. Just the worst possible time to do something like that. Now 114 to 107. Keldon Johnson drives on the right side, puts it up and in and 1. Keldon Johnson with 20 points on the day and a chance to make it a 4 point game at the minute and a half mark and he does just that. The Warriors now up by four here, right around a minute, 13 remains. Simon's going to drive. He's going to get by everyone and slam it with two hands. The Spurs have brought it to a two-point lead. Curry in the offense taking over. Steph gets it ripped away by Trey Jones. Jones off to the races. He slows it down and just kicks it back out. I wish he could have got a fast break point there. But Trey Jones with a great defensive play. Simon's going to drive. He's going to kick it out to Jones. Jones, the corner three. No good. The Warriors with the rebound. 40 seconds left. Curry needs something here. 114 to 112. Steph Curry working on Jones behind his back. He kicks it. It gets into the paint. He kicks it out to Thompson. Thompson pulls the three. No good. Not the greatest contest, but it counts for something. 114 to 112. Johnson drives. He kicks it out to Jones from the same spot. This time he hits it. His second clutch three of the day right after a missed one. The Warriors now down by one with a couple seconds left. Hartenstein going to dribble out to the perimeter. Steph. Goes around the screen. Wants to get into the paint. Kicks it to Hartenstein who fumbles the pass. Wimby picks it up and he's going to get fouled. And he gets a chance to go to the free throw line. As the Spurs, if he hits this one, will go up by three. The Warriors don't even have a timeout left. We have a big opportunity to steal this game in Golden State. Steph for the win or for the tie. Slings it from half court. No good. And we come back. Lay in the fourth and take the win. 117 to 114. What a performance by this Spurs roster. A young, unproven roster at that. This was such a fun game to commentate and just watch unfold. And I hope you guys definitely stay tuned in for the end of this one because that was a crazy, crazy finish there. 117 to 114. You go from being down almost 30 points at one point to winning the game by three late in the quarter. Keldon Johnson is going to get player of the game. He had himself a great shooting game just when we needed him to a couple of blocks and an outstanding overall performance here as we are now going to be moving into the seventh seed of the NBA playoffs to take on the Portland Trailblazers here in the next few episodes. Can't say I predicted a playoff appearance here in Season 2, but I am very excited that it's happening for the Spurs and for our roster here in San Antonio. We have such a young and potential-filled roster, but even if it's through the play-in tournament, we still 
have a good spot in the playoffs right now we will be taking on the portland trailblazers but i say why not let's go ahead and see exactly what's going to unfold in the rest of the play-in tournament we can look and see the golden state warriors do sneak in there at the eight seed they were able to take a win on the other side in the eastern conference detroit took a dub over charlotte brooklyn won over miami and now we saw charlotte jump into the first round as they beat up on the Nets. So this is the playoff picture for the NBA League this year. It is a very, very good, but also filled with a lot of young talent. As you can see around the league, the Pelicans taking on the Warriors. We're looking at maybe a new versus old type thing here because Zion and all of those young players on the Pelicans taking on a dynasty that has fallen off a little bit with the Golden State Warriors. Dallas taking on the Jazz. The Jazz led by former superstar Kawhi Leonard who has fallen off a little bit in recent years but he's back on top and provided a lot a lot of talent and a lot of scoring for the Jazz there um, in this season which is one of the reasons they finished in the fifth seed now the Clippers and the Lakers Portland and San Antonio obviously you know that one's not too important to us Boston Charlotte Toronto Indiana Orlando Atlanta and Cleveland and Detroit as we can now go ahead and look at some of the statistics and let's see who all performed well in these playoff tournaments outside of our game or even including our game we're going to go over our statistics real quick Andrew Wiggins was amazing against us 10 for 11 3 of 3 from three-point land um, Jonathan Kaminga was very good 18 8 and 6 he had a block as well and shot almost 50 percent over 50 percent actually from the field Jordan Poole was amazing he shot around 50 percent from the field 22 points six rebounds five assists and a steal just a great job by them Steph Curry you know he's older now he's 37 um, and he really showed that age today but he hit some clutch shots unfortunately for the Warriors they just couldn't pull it off against us because we were amazing shot 50 percent from the three-point field or from the three-point line D'Anthony Acey 23 and 7 he had two blocks he didn't shoot well from three but he did finish shooting 50 percent from the field victor women yama had 22 and 14 he only shot one three so you didn't see a lot of his highlights but um he was good for us he only shot one three a lot of them are just dunks and layups if they're not a three-point shot Keldon johnson the player of the game had 21 7 and 7 in a block six of eight from the field five of six from three a good good performance for him Anthony Simons 15 2 and 5 a block and two turnovers he shot 50 percent from the field Rui Hachimura four of six from three that's all we need him to do he had 14 1 and 1 he had a, added a couple of free throws Devin Vassell 9 3 and 2 he shot 75 percent from the field and Trey Jones when you need him the most Trey Jones comes through six points 10 assists three steals and two of five from three-point land. And both of those shots that he made to get six points came in the final two minutes of the game. One to, what I think, bring it down to just like a six-point game. And then one to bring it down or give us the one-point lead, which eventually we would win by three and, you know, become unsurmountable. Joseph Lemire only played 11 minutes. Um, I'm really trying to limit him a little bit. Five points, three assists, and three turnovers. Um, he wasn't all that great. I do think he'll be able to play going forward in the playoffs, but it's going to be tough. The spinal injury takes a lot out on you, and it's going to be something he's going to have to slowly come back from. Jeremy Sokan, unfortunately for us, um, looks like he's probably slowly losing his role in this team or on this team. He hasn't really played that well for us when I put him in the game. Um, he hasn't done too much offensively for us, enough to you know, basically prioritize putting him in the game, especially over a guy like D'Anthony Acey, who, I mean, if you look at his, you know, career stats, he hasn't been very good, 6.8 points per game, but, you know, he's provides a about the same defensively, and then basically a little bit or a lot more on the offensive side of things. We haven't played a playoff game yet, so everybody's statistics are fresh and clean, and next episode we'll be taking game one and game two in Portland, against the trailblazers but that'll be in a couple of days i hope you all are very excited for that as we have a opportunity here i'm not not too scared of this roster i do think we have a chance to steal maybe even upset or at least at minimum steal a couple of games from this trailblazers roster as you can see damian lillard shaden sharp gabe vincent Jonas valanciunas brandon miller clint capella yaka Pertle, trendon watford nasir little cam reddish campaign Keon Johnson, GG Jackson, Lamond Boyd, and a couple of two-way players. They have a lot of young talent on this roster as well with Shaden Sharp, um, Brandon Miller, 
uh, Cam Reddish, Keon Johnson, Gigi Jackson, Lamont Boyd. They've got a lot of young prospects, and I think that could hold them back, but it also could hold us back. And at one point in the season, they did beat us um, in an earlier episode. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, so it's not like we are, you know, invincible to this team. You know, we have had our weaknesses but before we sign off let's see who performed well the Timberwolves won their game one in the playing tournament over Denver um Jokic struggled and Anthony Edwards dominated they would go on to lose to Golden State because Jordan Poole Clay Thompson and Steph Curry had themselves an outstanding outstanding performance now on the eastern side we didn't look at statistics Cade Cunningham dropped 40 um he's got Cole Anthony beside him I assume as their starting point guard or maybe he's coming off the bench but um, they were able to beat the Hornets by one point. Scoot Henderson uh, had 25. Kai Jones had 23. A good performance there for Kai Jones. On the other side, the Nets were led by Mikel Bridges with 27. Bam Adebayo had 30. Um, it looks like Jimmy Butler struggled heavily. He only had six points, and they lost by 20. And then on this side, LaMelo Ball, I'm assuming, yeah, he went crazy. 35, 8, and 12 with four steals. Um, over 50% from the field. Scoot Henderson added 21, 9, and 13 as they made their way into that eight seed in the Eastern Conference. But as always, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. If you do enjoy this series, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can see my videos in your feed so you don't miss any episode of the series. As always, I hope each and every one of y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>